So here we are then. The uh, meeting room of the Tempest. That's what we're going to do. Let's have a look at the journal. Go to the bridge. Next one needs a resource producing outpost for you. As in Power Friday, you have been asked to achieve the impossible. Find a way to settle yours and give the initiative the foothold, foothold it needs. Director Tan has committed the resources for a last ditch effort, including a ship and support team for the Pathfinder. That would be me then. Okay, to the bridge. What have we got going on here? This should have. Yeah, Vetra has been added. So Vetra was the. Um, I'm not sure what her role is actually on the ship. She's uh, kind of a um, trader, I guess, really. Anyway, she's part of the crew. So, I guess I need to point out, she's also acquired the points. As we get the rest of the crew, they will also have levelled up um, with the you know, the, the team levelling that goes on. Um, so we'll go with the same basic idea. Um, of bumping her defensiveness so make her a bit tougher so we don't have to go and rescue her and uh, offensive capabilities for the Turin smuggler obviously that's not available yet concussive shots that's a very effective thing actually and power armor obviously well actually that gives her Increased um, uh, durability at this stage as well, but it goes offensive, I think. Power armor. Oh, it's like a temporary charge up, that's right. But we will whack, whack a point in um, there. We'll go with the same pattern for that, for all of them, and then we'll um, bump up. I think I said that before. Confirm. What the heck have we got in the inventory? Stuff apparently, obviously the codex is telling you I've got stuff. Any entries in the journal, but of course we haven't. They have never fixed that bug. Okay, anyway, let us get to the bridge. Mm -mm -mm. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. I can. What I'm going to do first? Check this toy. Some serious kit over here. Should have a talk with it again. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys, useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat Seven. Raw minerals, tech doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Uh, explorers turned escape. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. So yeah, this is the research station. Uh, it's actually research and development. Yeah. So research is uh, the blueprints basically, and development is actually building stuff. So if you look at research, we've picked up a few. Um, Da, da, da. Research. Da, da, da. So we've basically got three. This is this thing about these multiple currencies. So we've got um, three re Milky Way, re thirty re Milky Way research data points. Okay. We've also picked up three hundred and sixty Helios research data points. Um, this last one over here. I mean, it's uh, not saying anything, but but that's the uh, remnant. Um, We've got some of those, but we've not reached that point in the game yet. So the Helios, and the basic idea is that you can develop weapons, or blueprints for weapons, and you notice it's a big long list already. Um, what will happen is, as we level up um, and get more blueprints as well, so this is uh, the Cyclone Assault Rifle, um, and you see it's got the five pips, so these are the five levels that are initially available, as we level up you get uh, 6 to 10 becomes unlocked and then 11 to 15 
or is it 11 to 20? It goes up to 20 anyway. Um, but they unlock in tiers of five. Quite why they do that, I don't know. But uh, that's the way it do does it. Um, you also got different classes of weapon. Obviously, you got assault rifles. SMGs are basically pistols, types of another type of pistol. Uh, shotguns, again, another assault, assault rifle. It's a funky looking thing. Looks more like a shotgun to me with the um, drum magazine. Uh, a sidewinder a pistol. Looks rather destiny like that, doesn't it? Uh, Vanquisher sniper rifle. So. Uh, we'll probably be building a sniper rifle. We'll do that later on. Um, ghost assault rifle. We got another assault rifle. Another assault rifle. Lots of assault rifles. Pistols, SMGs, shotguns, sniper rifles. Which is the one that I particularly liked? The Black Widow is quite cool. It's quite slow firing. I've also got melee weapons. Okay. Armour. Uh, Hyper Guardian. And you got your N7s. Orgs. So these are things you can apply. Um, you know, um, temporarily basically. Uh, provide augments. Oh, sorry. Now these are the ones that are applied um, as you're building the thing. So this is what I was saying where I was getting confused before about mods and, and augments. Augments you apply as you build the thing. Mods you apply afterwards. Yeah. So augments are rare materials that can be added to some blueprints. And items incorporating augments can be more powerful or, or behave differently. Um, so then we've also got lots of Helios. I'm not sure we've got enough. Have we got enough research there to unlock anything? See, no. So if we go into Helios, see the arms, it's arms, armor. Uh, there's also one thing to know is you tend to get this effect. Well, effect. You tend to get this um, system as well, where that's an entire suit of armor, or you can get the pieces. The pieces then obviously allow you to uh, mix and match, whereas that's the full thing. Um, Helios Defender Helmet. Weapons. So, shotgun, shotgun, rifle, SMG rifle. Got a sniper. Oh, it's just one sniper rifle. Okay, anyway. And then there's orgs there as well. Okay. Development then, what you would actually do is the blueprints, so that research before unlocks the blueprints, that's all you're doing. Um, when you actually want to build something, you come in here, this development screen, um, and this is telling us here what we can build, so we can build nine different types of armour already. You know, we've got this initiative helm, and it uh, mixes them all together from memory. So, you know, if it, if it was a Helios one, yeah, so that's, I think that's a Helios one. And that's obviously initiative. That's a, a, a Milky Way one, human one. Uh, Pathfinder's obviously human as well. Um, and we go. So we've got chests. We've got these two already. Uh, legs. Different types of legs. Uh, arms. Yeah, so there's a whole load of stuff already in LOL. Weapons wise, we've got. And some of these, um, from memory. Um, was it the Viper? I seem to remember. No, it was the Raptor, I think. Because uh, you see the stats along the side here. This is. Um, uh, so this has a quite high rate of fire. Um, well, that's a high, higher rate of fire. And quite high damage as well. What's the disadvantage with that one? That looks pretty rocky, actually. Should we build one of them? Let's build one of them and I can show you how it works. So, what you can do, that view required materials, shows you what you actually need. That's sort of useless, really. <laughs> um, and then if we hit craft, right, 
so it allows you to customize the name I normally do so I can identify it because what you can do is you can break down the weapons you've got in order to get the materials from them it's not a great return um, and they there was a quite a problem with it because you didn't have a very high inventory count when they first started, you know first came out with the game um, but they bumped them up in patches so it's not so much of an issue because all of that um, uh, salvage um, counts in your in, uh, inventory as well oh that's not your inventory it's your like your uh, well, like your item stuff uh, they also gave you a there was a there's like a chest now on the on the on the tempest with uh, you know allows you to stop it but anyway I basically um, always um, name them so that I can identify which one I've made okay so hit this turn okay now because this is a low level weapon we've not had the chance to do augments but you can do that as well but that's literally it so that is now built and that's in our inventory okay uh, okay uh, the other thing you can do on here is manage your strike teams okay and of course um, when I last recorded, um, I set up a load of these, set, you know, did a load of these uh, going. So it's showing that those missions have completed with the teams awaiting debriefs. We only had three, if you remember. So we've now got a bunch more and we've got uh, greater ranks. So we've got golds, that's not platinum, no, it's silver, uh, and bronze there uh, and you've got your apex missions are the sort of special ones the time limited ones that they they, they do um, as part of the multiplayer support so those are obviously our strike teams so we need to debrief uh, the guys who went out whoops so that was a success another success Seem to remember, didn't we send out all like 90 odd percenters? Yeah, so none of those have failed. Okay. Um, am I gonna. Yeah, I'll run through it. I might well edit this down. Maybe not. But let's have a look what we got. So we got a couple of bronze credit loots, uh, research data. So this here, let's look at that. So that's giving us more. Well, that's giving us remnant research data. We haven't even opened that yet. Okay. But I'll just do clear more rewards. Okay. Okay. So. We might as well. Should we try some of these uh, gold ones? With our top level guys. 68. Hmm. That's not bad. 68. Oh no. That's less than 50. Cancel. Oh no, that's in the sorry, it's because it's an apex. Fifty-seven. So the sixty-eight was the best one. So we send them on that. So that's getting a gold mission going. Uh, we'll look see what we've got. What we've got with the silvers. You see, this is one of the problems with the designs of the game. It, it's, there could be so many better ways. You could just have a table or something equivalent to that to doing this. But as it is, I've got to go through every one. 91% is quite high. And 90, oh, 92 there, look, you see. And this is the effect of these you know, positive traits coming through. So that's obviously matching up um, whatever's required, whatever that mission's about. See, I'm not even reading them. But, you know, I'm just ploughing through it, really. Uh, and then what's that? So if we would send a strike team. 91. So I think what we will do is we will send that on that, and we'll do one of these apexes. You get more rewards for the apexes, even if you send a team. We might recruit. I'm not sure how much, what, how many we've got. So those are the top ones there that we're already doing. So we want to do that one. What we've got? 94, 90. So we'll send them. And we will also send them out on their best chance. 92, that's quite good. What's it like on there? No. So we will send them on that one. Okay. So there are two, three, four, 
four missions that aren't aren't being done. So you see what would happen. I mean, what are the times on these? So that's only an hour left. Um, two hours, two hours, and half two. So in an hour's time, they'll be back and potentially because I don't. Yeah, they're, they're our highs. Oh no, they're only level ten. Um, so you know we might be able to send them out again on that one. Although I think the missions that are coming up take a long time. So. Uh, 200. Should we get another one? At two, four, five. Yeah, might as well. You can retire them as well. Oh, we got an achievement pop. I don't think it recorded that. Well, we've really only got that because, as I say, all of those five teams were um, from my previous playthrough. I say this isn't New Game Plus. I don't quite know why it's doing that, but there you go. Maybe we could. No, we've only got 25. Shall we send them out? Let's send them out on their first mission. 74%. Quite good. Okay. So now we see our thing popping up. The third terminal is not active hey. yet. We'll get that old trigger on based on the um, thing that happens. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. Uh, yeah, hey. Should we? J yeah, let's just let's just go to the bridge. Let's just go to the bridge. Hey. Yeah, 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 hey, hey, Liam. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'll keep us out of trouble. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Everyone walks like they've shit themselves. All the humans do, anyway. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Uh, okay, uh, let's go with her. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds, and we'll beat them again. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. So this is obviously the uh, Elias Cluster map. One of the things I think confused a lot of people, particularly about this game, because it feels uh, it doesn't feel small, but it feels, you know, limited okay, but 
this is, uh, well, you know, they've structured this like this, yeah, and it looks like a galaxy ish. Uh, but it isn't. It's just a part of a galaxy. But you can't see the rest of the galaxy. Yeah, so it looks like this is it. And this is obviously, there's obviously uh, a black hole at the centre of this cluster. Um, these things here are all stars that will unlock. Okay. Um, or star systems, rather, that will unlock. And there are loads of them. You can go in and scan. Should we do one of them? Yeah, let's do it. Well... Actually, that's got the... I think that's meant to be the missing scientists one. Um, so we might as well do that at the same time. I do really like these animations. Um, this is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before... Well, let's see what's waiting here. I say I do like them. Um, Anomaly on sensors. But but uh, it's a bit sort of uh, tedious to do them as many times as you have to. And this background music for it that it plays the uh, is is a bit annoying. So what we do to scan. Right for that anomaly that Suvi mentioned, is just hit, hit the right click, up right, right key, um, and you just tells you where you're pointing. You c it's actually possible to guess. Usually, you see how this is just a bright spot here. Oh. So I was just hitting left mouse button to fire off the uh, fire off the probe. So there's an asteroid over there, and these are planets that haven't been scanned or moons and, and various things like that black hole so we're going to have a look at that first it's always fun to look at black hole oh, a bit of a stutter there see how pretty that is So again, to scan, simply hold the right mouse button, it'll pop up a little bit of description there, class Kia Black Hole, H012 Ketos, Ketos. Uh, analysis, even at this distance the black hole presents a risk of, to onboard ship systems. The ex uh, accretion disk around it is composed of the remains of at least one solar system destroyed by the black hole's formation and gravitational pull. Caution is advised. It didn't look much like an, or an, or an accretion disk, but yeah, cool. And that's it. That's basically all you do. So what you then do um, is you, because you've got a limited view, yeah. If you hit space, it fires you back out to that um, solar uh, solar system view. So let's go. Where are we go? Let's go for that. H four seven nine. So we actually see the ship. Um, I guess the idea is we're stood in that, um, what do you call it, augmented reality point that's uh, at the, in the bridge. Oh, so you, you can skip them, but I, I'm not too fussed by them. I won't be doing, if at some point I, um, well, I'll probably be scanning all the systems and I'll maybe cut it down as highlights. So again, we scan, gives us a thing, which, you know, it's all just colour, really. I have to confess, that I find these planets a bit disappointing. It's just a noise uh, filter um, that, you know, they've used to make um, planet surface. Which first, and it, they're all the same as that. Apparently, as I understand it, they... Uh, had intended for there to be lots more planets you could search and that for them to be procedurally generated uh, a bit like no man's sky basically but guess what they couldn't get it to work properly and also it didn't produce a very fun game that's strange there uh, so this one's got rings on it so 
to say, so anyway, you can sort of guess if there's going to be something on there. Because when you do this analysis, uh, sometimes it'll pop up something useful. It's got an atmospheric pressure of zero atmosphere, so it's got no atmosphere. Mm. I, d I wonder if they actually, you know, worked some of those out or not. Or just randomly came up with numbers. I also kind of wonder, it would, would have been good if you could name the planets. Because this is one of the things that makes it a little bit weird and a little bit boring. You're meant to be going around scanning these planets, but they've already got names already. So someone's already named them. I mean, yeah, you could do that you know, from telescopes and stuff. Um, oh, nothing interesting there. I can't remember if you get tiny little bits of XP for doing the scans. I can't remember or not. I don't think you do. I think you get, if there is something there, because there are like discoverable things like mountain ranges, and, uh, coral swamp, uh, coral seas, and all sorts of stuff that you can discover, and they give you XP. No, nothing here either. You see, it's uh, can you see at the top it says uh, FIFA. Uh, progression 71%. That's telling you how much of the system you've explored. See what I mean there? The skybox and the animation is really nice. Nope, nothing interesting here either. These all look like unfun places to live. So let's go and have a look at this asteroid. Anomaly, anomaly, Fudunk. So this is telling me there's an aluminium deposit. Of a scan first. So we have somehow collected aluminium. The one of the things I don't get with this, or I did get it, but this is a gigantic asteroid, yeah, which is supposedly chock full of aluminium. I mean, it's in a asteroid field, so you know why this one would have more. Um. You know, it's presumably why we've, our attention has been drawn to it. But all we've got out of it is 83 aluminium. <clears throat> I mean, what is that? 83 what? Tons? Pounds? Kilograms? Just, I mean, it's like... It's not a lot. Um, especially when you see... Well, you saw some of the weapons. You need, well, you need like, you know... Tens of um, uh, amounts of stuff to get them. And when we do the mining... And I hate the mining. Um, we'll get, you know, sort of equivalent amounts. And it's like you, this entire planet, and you get, you know, 42 silicon out of it. It's like, that's not really sensible. So, this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake up call. So this, cheers, Suvi. So that is the uh, scourge. Yeah. So the idea is it's incur um, an incursion from somewhere else. Okay. But we will look and see. Can we see it? Can we guess? No, it's down there somewhere. Is it that? Yeah. There you go. Probe away. Getting a scan. Starship wreckage. So this is obviously the uh, well. I think it's is it the quest. There was the quest uh, to find the missing scientists. It might not be. You get some that are just random bits of starship footage. I 
Nothing particularly interesting there. So you can read these, and I'd, I'd read quite a lot of them, you know, when I first played. Um, but it's just, you know, it's just fluff, basically. Now that looks a bit more interesting. Detected. Oh, there we go. So, something. Probably that, I bet. Yep. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Huge, she says. Huge. Right. Let's see how much we actually get. 148 aluminium. Ooh. Okay. But yeah, so that's there. So that's kind of why it's worth going through the planets um, to pick up that bit of stuff. So you also get XP for discovering. I'm surprised we haven't had one just for, to show you. Um, you know, it's like enormous mountains and scientifically interesting things. On sensors. Another one. Let's see if we can spot it again. Can't see anything obvious. Wonder if that's it. Yes. Deploying probe. We've got a crater. A crater. A crater caused by the impact of heavy debris, possibly from the scourge. The meteorite still contains valuable resources. Level up. What did we actually get there? So it must have just been XP. Yeah, 270 XP. So you see, you do get quite a, a lot of XP. Um, certainly for early in the game. You know, we've already leveled. I mean, we, how many actual quests have we actually done? So it's Habitat 7, Starship Wreckage. So we will go to Hab 7. I think there's a little bit of dialogue for this one. I'm picking up something. Oh, just something. Oh, there's something floating in this atmosphere there. I wonder if that's it. There we go. What does this actually say? Even visual scans show that Habitat 7 is no longer a promising settlement world. The planet's atmosphere is largely argon nitrogen, and little of the projected plant life has survived. Duh. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Ah, satellite. A standard monitoring satellite. Its registration shows it to have deployed accidentally from the Hyperion during its collision with the Scourge. So we're already littering in our new galaxy. 50 Milky Way research data. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Well, it says progression 100% though, because these are extras. So I think this is the quest one, is it? Maybe? Maybe? That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. There you go. She'll want to know. Uh, status reported missing, presumed lost. Eudoxus sustained pervasive damage due to the scourge flares that wiped out all internal systems. Dr. Ari. Dana, oh, Dr. Aridana's uh, crew was killed instantly. Vessel adrift, unsalvageable due to radiation. Gained 50 remnant research data. But we don't know who the remnant are yet. 
So we've done that. So we have to basically go and tell her that they's all deads. Okay, so uh, I say that's the scan it, scan it planning, <laughs> planet scanning. As I, as I understand it, there were equivalents in previous Mass Effect games, um, and this is meant to be a lot easier. As I... System Pythias, Andromeda Initiative Habitat One, designated EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first step, until no one else showed, and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. We're not going to do that, though. There's an anomaly kicking about, which I think will be that. Probably. <coughs> Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Hmm. Okay. Rattle through the other planets first. We'll skip these, show you what happens. Basically, launches to them. Uh, launches to the end point. Uh, anything like the end? I don't think so. No. Go out again. Uh, go to that one. And then skip. Iron deposit, no, iron, yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, okay. 141 iron. Then we will go there. Skip. Oh, there's something the way out on the other side of there. Anomaly on sensors. That would be that there. Another satellite, probably. Satellite yeah. detected. Scientific monitoring satellite launched by early explorers to EOS. Its mission was abandoned when the original settlement of EOS failed, but it has gathered valuable data from H-276. 50 research. So, uh, we will go to Gonzu. Detected. Another one, crikey. I wonder if it's that. Yep. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Beryllium. 124 beryllium. I keep accidentally hitting the tab. It gets rid of the thing. Um and you could you know take screen grabs if you wanted. It gets rid of the thing. The UI. Let's go to Pele. Okay, so that's um, Pythia uh, explored, so we'll crack on with the quest a bit. Okay, I seem to remember you can actually see the colony site, no? A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. 
Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. So as you can see on the left there, we've already got, um, obviously we've got the better beginning, is the main story quest. Um, the Lost Brother and the First Murderer, uh, you know, optional quest, are um, also on here. Uh, let's have a look at what we see. A desert world with significant resources, EOS is often racked by deadly radiation contaminated storms. Lovely. Catalogued as non viable after numerous attempts to settle. Alert! Signal detected, similar to the devices on Habitat 07. So let us land. Do you wish to disembark the Tempest? Yes. So, loadout screen. Okay. So, um,. We are currently overweight, okay. Um, what that affects is your ch recharge rate, okay. So what we have, let's go to choose your equipment, cycle through your loadout, and press scale when you're ready, okay. What happened there? Sorry. So if I, hmm. So by loadout, okay. What it means is you can actually change who you're taking with you. Okay, we'll st obviously stick with Liam and Cora, but uh, we could swap Cora for one of the unknown, <laughs> one of the unknown companions. Obviously, we can't actually do that, but we could swap her for for Vetra. I'll be totally honest; I'm not a big fan of Liam. Um, don't think his. Uh, well, I was gonna say I don't think his voice actor does a good job. It's not not quite that. I'm not sure he was quite well directed enough. Um, what else? Sandrino, Overdrive. We'll just got shoot capacitors. Uh, these are. I mean, this is yet another system in the game. And to be totally frank, I always bloody forget to do them. They are well. I say I always forget. So there's some of the big like. Um, what you might call end of level bosses. Um, it's useful. I you know, can give them a go. So we've got our basic gear here. I think we've have got yeah, because we've just got some versions of them. We can actually change this anyway when we're back when we're on the surface. I want to get rid of that and swap out. Well. Uh, the Avenger is... I hate that rifle. What's that like? So, what it's showing on the right here is comparisons to what you, you got equipped in that slot. So it's saying it's heavier than... Because what slot am I actually looking at here? So, the Charger, yeah? So I think what I'd rather do, what I'd rather have is um, the Avenger in this slot. No, I hate the Avenger. So it's got a poor rate of fire, tiny clip, well not a tiny clip size, rubbish ammo, it's heavier. Da -da -da. Should we go with that one? But then you can also, these are the mods you see. Yeah, so this one gives a uh, increased stability and that gives uh, uh, increased damage. Yeah, so these are the extra ones you can add on top. Uh, we will swap that out. We've got our assault rifle. We're going to be quite overweight. Uh, we've just got a barrel. Okay, but can I get rid of that? I don't think I can. Can I? I haven't actually got any. Biotics. Can I get rid of that? No, I can't. So we're going to be overweight, but you know, so what? Whoops. No. Oh, no, you can unequip. Except we can't. I think you have to have your melee. Select. Yeah? Yeah, okay. That got confusing. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. 
Hope we're all that ready. Callow, all right? Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Sorry. You okay? I'm up for the adventure. This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy? A new ship? I can't wait to get both a little dirty. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Yeah. Set us down at this nav point. <laughs> 